Feed the Beast Crash. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Feed the Beast Crash with yours truly, Kovan Crash. So I am here. Um, <clears throat> I have done quite a bit. Let's go ahead and go into the Tinker Table first um, to show you what I have done to upgrade my stuff. Um, if you remember the last time I said I wasn't going to build any of the armor, well, it turns out um, they have some interesting modules that they have added since the last time I used them, so I decided to go ahead and, and use it. Um, I do have the energy shield on every single one of them because that way it doesn't... It's, it doesn't cost any weight. It does take energy to do it, but it's per hit. So every time you get hit, it takes energy away from you. But as you can see, I do have plenty of energy. Um, I have a battery in my... In my... Uh, I called it the Terminator. I renamed it the Terminator. It's my power tool. And also, I believe in my... Uh, in the boots, I also have the feet. I do have another battery, uh, the elite battery, um, which is really easy to make, just a high vo high voltage capac uh, capacitor. Um, I also do have this shock absorber, which is really easy to make as well, um, and I have that all the way up. Um, in the legs, I have a few things as well. I do have um, this uphill assist, which I will show you in a second, um, and also this sprint assist. Um, and this jump assist. So I have a whole bunch of that kind of stuff. Um, I have everything but this swim boost, which I'll probably get eventually, but I just haven't done it yet. And then I do have this kinetic generator. Generate power with your movement. Basically, all I, <clears throat> while I'm running, I basically am using energy. So if you see, if you look in the top left corner, how it's clicking back and forth, um, that's because I'm using energy because I have the sprint assist. Right there, I have it all the way powered up. Um, but I also have this, which is generating energy. with, And it does cost weight to do that. But because I'm running faster, I really don't care. Um, but So every uh, energy generated per five blocks is one kilojoule. So every five blocks, I'm getting one kilojoule of energy. And it turns out with the kinetic en generator and the sprint assist, it turns out I'm actually staying pretty much even with my energy. I like it a lot. Um, Let's see, on my torso, um, I don't think I have anything, actually. I don't have the jetpack. Um, I might get that eventually. Um, you're so nice to make yourself... Oh, wow, almost... Imp that's pretty cool. Um, I, I don't have that. But one thing I do have... Oh, we go to the head first. So in the head, I do have this... Um, I might get that eventually. Um, this solo generator as well. So that way, when I'm standing outside, um, I am always... You just stand here as long as the sun is out it is giving me energy that's pretty cool um i also eventually will get this auto feeder i probably could do that right now but it's not a big deal um so that'd be pretty cool to get that um and also this will help me breathe underwater so that'll be all that's stuff that i do plan on getting i just haven't done it yet but one thing i have done is i have transparent armor because i love my skin i've, I've changed it recently um, since my last skin, I was the adventurer, and now I'm this kind of guy. Um, and I like my skin a lot, so I decided why not show it off. Uh, there's this K on the back for Kovan Crash. Um, but yeah, so I decided why not go ahead and just make them make it invisible, so that way I don't have to uh, I don't have to see the the ugly armor. Because if you see this head, let me go ahead and salvage this real quick, so I can show you what the head looks like. It looks fugly look at that look at that it looks way bad um now that is the sfax pictures te texture pack i don't know what it looks like normally but either way i decided to just go and take it off because it looked pretty dang cool just like that um let me go and sleep so i can show you what else i have um as you can see i do have a portal gun in my inventory um i found that <laughs> i found that so those totems that are much like up there um right up there I found it in those chests, not in not in that one. I was traveling around, and I found it in a chest. And also, when I was doing some miscraft, I found another one. So I have a bacon gun and a potato gun, which is pretty amazing. I didn't know you could find those in chests. So I am super excited for that because those take, as you guys know, nether stars. Um, let's see, miniature black hole in a nether star. And I'm not even close to fighting the nether. So actually, if I could now with some of the upgrades I've done last episode, but... Anyway, so um, that's pretty cool. So I have two portal guns, so I can do the whole, you know, portal gun thing, which is pretty dang cool. Um, so yeah, so I like that a lot. Um, I've been using the portal gun, especially when traveling, so I can travel back to my home quickly 
and safely. Um, got the hiccups I was in. That was kind of weird. It's gone though. Um, let's see what else have I done? What else have I done? Um, one thing that I'm currently doing is I am. Oh, I created this chest. Uh, it's kind of a trash bin. It goes right into that. Uh, the void pipe. The reason being because I have been doing miscraft. I've been uh, generating some. Pa I've been finding some pages, and I'm generating just blank books. Um, used to be able to just create a blank book with a book and a feather. Now what you can do is you can put. Uh, if you. If you. How do you do it? Um, you just put a piece of paper right he in here. Right in here, it'll create a blank page like I have right here, and then you can just create a random book off of that blank page. Let me go and show you that real quick. So if you just go like this, now I can create a descriptive book. So, um, so with just a piece of paper, you and three and a piece of leather, you can actually create a descriptive, a blank descriptive books. Um, although I have been doing a lot of traveling, I think I've done maybe 20 miscraft ages, and every single one of them has been terrible. So I'm just trying to find these pages so I can create something a little bit better. Uh, you do have to have ink um, in order to, yeah, it's ink vial, and you can just look that up. Actually, I have it looked up right here, ink vial right there. Um, you just need an ink sack and, some, and a water bottle. You just put in that top slot, and then ink will fill in right here. So um, you can also watch uh, some Die with 20. I might do some, some more. Um, stuff with miscraft in the future but not this episode um but you can definitely watch die with 20 make sure you watch his uh one uh zero point one spotlight because that's what this is um this is actually later than that now but uh go ahead and watch that and you can go ahead and see how to do all that kind of stuff um let me go ahead and go out here because what, what i have been doing is i have been um you i built a quarry I built a, built a quarry and I'm and I am getting materials now. So right over here is is my current one that's going. Um, so yeah, it's kind of going. It's going slowly. It's uh, I have a wrath igniter up there, a wrath lamp. I'm not quite so sure what it's called. Um, it's going kind of slowly, but that's okay because um, I don't need it super fast. It is connected to this ender chest, which is going beautifully. Um, and right here, I just have an electrical engine with a medium voltage solar array. And I'm, uh, I do it on the ground, as you guys remember. I don't like to tear up the surface. Eventually, I will set up a miscraft age to do all my mining. Oh, actually, that's the step assist. I meant to show you guys that. So what the step assist actually does is you don't have to jump on top of these blocks. So I can use a block much like stairs. So I can just run right up here without having to jump at all. Now, when I do jump, I can jump pretty dang high. So... That's pretty cool, um, just like this, and I can run and jump and almost fly. It's not quite, it's actually faster than, than creative flying, so I like it a lot. Um, if you can see above my, uh, sorry, I did, I've done so much since last time, so um, if you can see above my armor, you can see this little symbol. Now, if you hold shift and then you use your scroll wheel, you can change between the different modes. If you remember, if you remember... Oh, no, actually, I showed you guys last time, didn't I? I showed you guys uh, the portal gun, like the, the ender the ender pearl thing. So um, it can actually go very far. Look at this. So I'm all the way over here now. So this is actually my village. I'm working on breeding miscraft villagers, and I have a golem right here. It's actually going very well. Um, I just have a whole bunch of people. You know, this guy wants chicken. Um, this guy will give me a project protection protect projectile a whole bunch of stuff nothing super interesting I've just I'm trying to get a miscraft villager um that's what the goal was but I haven't done that yet so uh, maybe with some luck I'll get it eventually but it hasn't happened so anyways um I do love this uh, this oh I missed it Dang it. Um, sometimes if you miss, uh, but you really didn't miss, it just hit something further down the line, it will teleport you th there as long as the chunk is loaded. So um, be careful of that. Okay, so n this episode. Okay, that was that was a little bit of work. <laughs> but this episode, I do have a, uh, I do have a plan. Um, and the main plan is um, lava. That's what the plan is. Um, I need to upgrade my engines. Sorry, I'm trying to detangle my cord. Give me one second. Okay, here we go. So, uh, I need to upgrade this. Uh, these steam engines just aren't giving me the, the amount of power I want. Um, they give me a good amount of power, but not... I, I want a lot of power in here. So, I'm going to use um, steam engines. 
and not steam engines, sorry, magmatic engines. So magmatic engines right here, right there. Really uh, not too bad to make. I uh, do have to make some invar and stuff like that, but not too bad overall. Um, but at first we have to store the lava. So I'm actually going to use this right here, this hole, and I'm going to create a 12 by 12 by 12 uh, lava tank from that uh, I'm gonna do a mod I haven't done yet Zycraft. So one, two, let's see, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I might just do nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll probably do nine by nine by twelve just because of the space of the hole. It's just easier that way. Um, but that's that's a great thing about this hole is that it's already built and I can do that very very easily. Um, and then I'm going to pump this stuff over to my house, uh, and it'll be great. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, first thing we need to do is we need to create some Zycraft stuff. Um, I haven't done much Zycraft at all. Um, just, I've done something creative, but nothing uh, too fancy. So, we need to create a valve. Um, with that, we need to make a engineering brick. Um, it's done with uh, any color of Zycordite. And I do it does have to be the um, this kind, the actual bar form, and then some stone bricks. So let me go ahead and go right over here. I don't think I have a lot of stone. Oh, I have I have some. I have some. I might be able to do this. Um, probably not though. Uh, that could be four. Yeah, I'll have exactly enough. Perfect. Okay. So if I go into this chest, uh, which color should I do? Oh, let's go and do blue. Okay, so right in here, let's go ahead and put this in there. Can I just use any? It's just redstone. And one piece of redstone. Okay. Uh, how do I get iron bars? Okay, I never make iron bars. I think I actually have some somewhere. Where are they? Perfect, I have two. Okay. You go and take this, take this, perfect. Okay, so let me go ahead and make some more iron. Oh, it makes 16. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, so um, I need a bucket. A bucket? Perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. And this. And this gives me the blue engineering bricks. Um, and then we can do this. Um, let's see. Oh, it's a... Oh, we ought to use the redstone. Never mind. Um, this. Okay, perfect. Actually gives me four. Wow, that's actually really useful. Really, um... What is it called? <laughs> Efficient. Uh, it's really good on, on its resource resources. So, perfect. So that gave me four, and I just leave in this uh, Zycraft chest for now. Um, because we actually need to create the structure. Um, you can use any... Any material. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I, I think I might use the. I'm not sure actually. I'm not sure what I want to use. Um, since it's lava, I'll probably use red. Let's use red. Let's do that. How much red do I have? Oh, perfect. I have lots of red. So let me go ahead. Um, since these are trend. Uh, translatable into different things. I'm just going to go ahead and go like this. So I'm going to make, oh, so I'm going to make eight. Okay, so I do not have enough yet. Um, I might in the future, but I'm not going to have enough right now. So I'm just going to use stone, cobblestone for that matter, um, to go ahead and do this. Um, and then we do need some viewing glass. I think it's called viewing glass right there. Glass viewer. So this is glass with iron. Let's go ahead. I know I have some glass. Uh, I only have six. Okay, so let's go ahead and get some more glass. Okay, that should be good. Okay. Okay, there we go. 
Okay, perfect. So that's that's good. Um, so that way we can kind of see. I'm gonna need actually a lot more of this, uh, but we're gonna be okay for now. I'm just gonna go mainly use some cobblestone because I have plenty of cobble, um, plenty of it. Let me go and sleep through the night, so that way we can start building this structure. Um, and actually, the way to go might be just use this exi existing. No, because then we have to. Well, that'd be okay. Yeah. So what I'm gonna because you only have to use the the corners. I th I think are the only thing that has to be the like. So if I, you know what, I'm gonna test this. Uh, I'll, I'm I'm not gonna go away though because I'm actually not sure. But I think the only the corners and the sides have to be the like, um, item. So if this is the top, uh, we're gonna say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. Okay, um, and then if we go 12 like that, just like that, and then we should be okay if I go like this, and then actually, let me go ahead. And I'm going to have to actually fill that in as well. Oh, dang it. Let me go ahead and go back. So, so I think this is going to be okay. Um, I'm not sure, though. So let me go ahead and pause it right here. Uh, let me go ahead and make this outside structure. And I will be right back when we have when I have finished. Actually, I'm going to have to go one more out. Oh, dang it. Uh. Okay, so I will be right back when I have finished making this quick structure of the outside. Okay, so I am getting close. Um, I have done, I think that's 12 deep. Uh, so uh, basically a 10 by 10 by 12. And we are going to see if this works. I have no idea to tell you the absolute truth. Um... I'm going to go ahead and place it just right here. I'm going to place the valve. And hopefully if we right click, nothing. Okay, so it did not work. Um, we might have to use Zycraft blocks. That might be the the, uh, the answer to this. Um, I am honestly not sure, though. This is my first time using them. So, um, so let me go ahead and... No, that should be okay. I, I, as far as I know, that's okay. You know, let me go ahead and do a small one. Just a just a little guy. Um, let me if I just go like this. Just a little. Just a little tiny guy. Okay, see that works. So yeah, so that does 16 buckets worth, and I can place it anywhere, can I? Okay, so it does have to be. So maybe uh, no, because I did it low enough. Let me try this again. Let me try a little. We go one block down or something like that. See if that works. So let me go this way. And go right here, maybe. Yeah, that should be negative. Okay, so let me do some quick troubleshooting. Uh, we might have no, we don't have to use Zycraft box, but I might have to fill you do the whole thing with cobble. That's probably what the answer is going to be. So uh, let me go ahead and swap that around and see if it works. So I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, looks like I have just finished creating this episode, and I realized it was way too long. So it was, uh, I ended at about 41 minutes. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and split this episode up into two parts. So make sure you guys come back and see what happened when I, how I finished my tank, and I get everything all set up. So I will see you guys next time. Make sure you guys like, comment, favorite, do all that stuff, uh, and have a good day. 
Bye. Feed the Beast Crash.